Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. Uh, happy Thursday evening. We are done with work, Sherry and I are both home, and we actually had no plans tonight. Tonight was gonna be just another normal night. We were gonna bring you guys along for it. And then earlier today, I get a text from Sherry, and Sherry's like, hey, uh, how about this? How about at six o'clock I get a tattoo? And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. Also, can we see if Olivia, who's our tattoo artist, can touch up one of mine? Uh, so this morning, we had no plans for tonight, and now we're both getting tattoos. So we're gonna show you Sherry's, uh, very excited about hers. It's one that she has wanted for actually a long time, and it's become more meaningful as of late. We'll tell you more about that later. Um, today was a good day though. I had some work events, a work meeting earlier that was a ton of fun. Work for you was? Fine. Fine. <laughs> and so friends, it's Thursday evening. Let's see what the heck we end up doing other than tattoos. Actually, I do want to show you one thing real quick. Um, our homeowners association He's actually, uh, like the contractor came out and has rebuilt the entire like deck we have outside. So they tore all of the wood up, basically put all wood, all new wood down. They're going to come out with new like outdoor carpeting and cover it all up. But that was really nice. It was getting a little bit wobbly. You could just tell it had been a while since all the wood had been replaced. So that's kind of nice that they did that. And they did the whole thing over like two days. They started this project yesterday. Um, for our unit and the one next door. And it was really funny because this morning, um, obviously it's right off of our living room. Mm -hmm. And so this morning before 9 a.m. Which is right by our bedroom. Which is right by our bedroom. So this morning, be or like before 9 a.m., we heard all of the noise outside. We were like, oh my God, what's happening? And then it was like, like, ah. like, what's happening? We're like, oh, that's right. They're just like tearing down <laughs> our little patio deck thing. But it will be really nice when it's all finished and new. I also do want to say thank you guys. Um, we have received a few, I think there's a couple more, uh, sympathy cards. Just cards that you guys are thinking of us with Missy's passing. So that was something I did not expect. In fact, I went to the P.O. box and opened it up the other day and there were like three in there the first day. And I was like, why is there mail in our P.O. box? And then I opened the cards and realized. So you guys continue to be the sweetest. Okay, we are heading off to our tattoo appointment. Um, Sherry Beth. You are getting a fireweed tattoo. I am. Why? And where? I'm getting it right here. So it kind of matches the other forearm tattoo? Yeah. Okay. Um, because for one thing, the fireweed is just a very beautiful flower. I've only ever seen it here mm -hmm. in Alaska. Um, it might be other places, but I haven't mm -hmm. seen it. Um, and it is the first thing to come back after a fire, after destruction. Um, it's kind of life after devastation. Mm -hmm. And I just love the symbolism of that. Mm -hmm. So Very cool. You've, want, you've actually wanted this tattoo for a while. For a while. This has been on the list. Yes. Um, but then with everything with Missy, it just feels fitting. And yeah. I got to say, uh, we didn't even... When we were choosing the doctor that would come be with Missy at the end, mm -hmm. uh, the doctors, it's it's Fireweed Veterinary Clinic. Yeah, and we which were just we didn't even think about it until we had already booked it and like had the appointment ready, and then I was like, oh, that's even more reason for me to get the Fireweed. <laughs> so, so, Fireweed tattoo is what Sherry what we're doing. Sherry Beth's getting. Yeah. Um, I do also want to say today, July twenty fifth, as we're recording this. Mm -hmm is our nine year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah. Nine years ago, we went to the little town of Hope, Alaska, <laughs> filmed a truly terrible <laughs> YouTube video mm -hmm. and posted it. And we've been on YouTube since and you guys have supported us the whole darn time. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out because we have um, oh, God. improved a little bit. We go back and watch it every now also, and I then. Have blonde hair. You have blonde hair. And the, here's the funny thing <laughs> about our channel. I don't think it was like three or four videos into our channel until people actually saw you. Like, uh, I think it was just your voice in that first video. I, I don't. Think I was in it a little bit, but not, not a lot. I don't think so. Really? <laughs> you guys need to go and watch because I, I think the first video that you make an appearance in our channel is when we went to Seattle. Oh, 
Oh, it could be. Mostly because I was not on board with the vlog and you were just like, we're doing it. I was like, you're doing it. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. She's like uh, you're having a YouTube channel. <laughs> Have fun with that. Sir. It's Sherry's Sherry's <laughs> um, voice and Sherry holding um, holding the camera in that first Hope video. Uh, so nine years into YouTube. That's a long time. That's a long time. We post over, post over 1,200 videos, um, shared a lot of ups, downs, life with you. Um, and over the last couple of years, we've shared a lot of tattoos. <laughs> Let's go get more. It's actually been not too bad of a day here in Anchorage. Uh, it's cloudy currently, but it's um, almost 70 degrees still, which is nice. We are stopped at a light and there's a dog next to us. And you guys, I love this dog. Hi, I love you. <laughs> You're very sweet. So here we go, Rebirth Tattoo by Vinny. The artist we go see is Olivia Carmody. Olivia is amazing, like absolutely the best. Yep. And she is based here out of Rebirth. Okay, tattoos are done. done. Um, yours is, I'm gonna put a photo up, because we took yeah. a photo before it got wrapped in plastic. Uh, Sherry. It's so good. Are you so happy with it? I'm so happy with it. I'm really glad. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Mine um, is wrapped up as well. She actually put some white in mine to help with the definition. Uh -huh. And every experience we've ever had with her has just been per great. perfect. Yep. So now the tattoos are done. Um, it is 8, 11 p.m. and we have not had dinner. Good. So we're gonna do dinner next. I'm so happy with the tattoos though. Me too. Oh, I'm cold though. <laughs> I just shivered. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. Why are you so cold? Well, because I had my arm just like still for so long, kind of upside down, and my hand is freezing. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Sherry lives until dinner. <laughs> All right, for dinner tonight, we decided to hop into Beartooth Theater Pub. So here at Beartooth, um, you can actually get a lot of the Moose's Tooth pizza menu but then they have some other items as well. One of our favorite places to come. The food is just so, so good. I'm actually thinking about maybe some of the blackened cod tacos or the blackened cod burrito. Oh gosh, what to get, what to get. Here's my blackened cod burrito with chips and salsa. Sherry went with a pizza called the Elf on a Shelf. That is one of our favorites. It normally comes with jalapenos, However, said no, you. you said no thank you to the jalapenos. <laughs> look at how good that looks. When you reach the last bite of a meal and you're sad because it was so good. Did you just steal a chip? Sherry leg. Dinner is done. And dinner, whoa, was that door really heavy or? That was not the most impressive feat of strength <laughs> I've ever seen. One last stop before home. We're at the grocery store because we need two things. We need dial soap which is the uh, soap we use after we get tattoos. We are all out yeah. and we need Ziploc bags. Yeah. So <laughs> this should not be more than like a two minute trip. I say that and then we leave with like $200 in groceries and an hour later. All right, Ziploc bags. We're getting one of those. Nope. We're gonna get one of the 48 and then also a gallon. Okay. Hey Sherry, you're cute. So the one that we normally get is the Dove Antibacterial, right there. It's coming home with us. That was so quick and so easy. I love when a trip to the store actually goes as planned. All right, we're back home. Um, we got together with friends last night. Sorry, I'm putting stuff in the fridge. And um, we had like a kind of sandwich bar potluck. And so we brought a bunch of sandwich meat for it and there was a bunch left over. And we got home, we're like, oh, we'll just put it in uh, Ziploc bags when we get home. And we had no Ziploc bags. <laughs> and so it was like, well, we had the gallon size Ziploc bags. <laughs> we did not need the big ones, that's for sure. So we're like, oh, next time we go to the store, we need Ziploc bags, which we got. Um, now we're gonna do a little bit of tattoo care because uh, let me show you. Sherry, can we see the plastic wrap of your arm? Mm, see, it's like it stays. See, looks perfect, right? Yeah. Looks great. So you'll keep it wrapped tonight and take a shower tomorrow. Yeah. Wash it with that new soap we got. Easy peasy. Yeah. Let's show mine. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. <laughs> what happened here, huh? This is what happens every single time. 
<laughs> I it's a combination of me being very fidgety and wiggly uh -huh. and me being very hairy. Right. So and the so, cake doesn't actually stick to him. It sticks to his hair and then it just kind of comes off. Nipples. And so it's always funny. It's like, leave that on through the night. I'm like, through the night? It lasts for a half hour tops. Yeah. It'll be lucky <laughs> if it stays on for a half an hour. <laughs> so we're actually going to take this off mm -hmm. and we're going to put new saran wrap on it kind of wrap it all the way around the arm yep. and then get some of the tape we have at home and wrap it all the way around. So just sort of make it a little bit more secure. Yeah. Okay, before we actually wrap it back up, kind of wanted to show you. It's still a little bit bloody. It's still a little bit bloody, but so she basically just um, filled back in like the darker. The half circles. Half circles. And then she added white to the waves. So I think I shared this when I first got it. The symbolism behind this is just a reminder that all storms eventually settle, right? Like calm sea, starting to stir, waves starting to stir, calm again. Yep. All storms settle. I really like the white in there. Mm -hmm. Sherry's helping me and I'm very thankful <laughs> because me trying to do this by myself <laughs> would, <laughs> no, would not work super awesome. Kind of comical. Sherry leg saves the day. When I woke up this morning, had no idea we were going to be getting tattoos today. That was not on the radar at all. Um, but leave it to Sherry to always surprise me. And here's the thing that's so amazing. So Sherry and I both have nine tattoos now. This ties us up because I didn't get a new one today. I just got mine touched up. So I was in the lead by one. Sherry has tied. Um, but you've gotten all of your tattoos in the last basically two years. Yeah, a little over two. Yeah, March of 22 was my first one. You just jumped right into the deep end. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 9.30 p.m. We're going to be going to bed for too long, but uh, what I wanted to do was leave these in the dryer. <laughs> Let future Adam and Sherry deal with these. But we're trying to be better about that, so putting away laundry, our next task. See, here's the thing. Putting laundry away takes 10 minutes, not even that. And it's always so nice when it's done, but it feels like it just, there's always another load to do. I know. We were just talking about that. Sherry was just like, all right, well, this is almost all put away. Uh, and then we need to do more laundry tomorrow. Yeah. Dang it. Hear me out. Single use clothes <laughs> that just dissolve. They don't go to fill up landfills. They don't do anything. Just like, basically it's like a 3D printer, just 3D prints a cloth like a uniform for the day something for the day and then at the end of the day it goes in a pile and that pile like could even be composted it could go back to do good in the world <laughs> basically anything to keep us from having to do more freaking laundry all the time <laughs> also i have a real dilemma this is my hat rack i think i showed it in the last video as well the problem is i now have too many hats for my hat rack <laughs> So, I'm, I, I, was I was just going to say that when Sherry has too many purses for her purse rack, she has to purge. So, I'm going to have to purge and get rid of some hats. Or maybe I could just put like a second rack down here and just buy more hats. <laughs> no, maybe not. Well. Fine. All right, I have a question for all of you. Um, tomorrow night, as we're filming this, I believe the Olympics start. Uh, the opening ceremonies, I think, are Friday night. I love the olympics my whole life i have loved watching the olympics summer olympics winter olympics it's just one of those things that just uh, i don't know it evokes pride and competition and all of that great stuff uh, and so i want to know are you all going to be watching the olympics you guys can be paying attention to it while it's going on in paris what are your favorite olympic events sherry beth i want to know from you favorite summer olympic sports because we've actually talked about this before, maybe on a podcast. I'm not much of a Summer Olympics. We are actually both more Winter Olympic fans. Yeah. Um, do you like basketball? Does it touch your Indiana roots at all? Not the Olympic basketball. So there you go. <laughs> um, for me, I always like watching gymnastics. I think that the like floor routine where basically they just like do this the whole time <laughs> and they just like like flip it's like that's crazy to watch yeah i do really love the the gymnastics stuff um that's probably honestly it really the summer olympics i don't really care about the rest i like watching the track and field but not like the marathon runners like the sprinting like fast quick amazing little like bolts of lightning just vroom like usain bolt, like usain bolt. wow <laughs> sherry knows one sprinter's name in the history of the world um 
So I will, and here's the thing, it's the other time, or it's the only time of the year when there are certain sports that I literally don't care about the whole rest of my <laughs> life, but all of a sudden, I'm like super into badminton. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm super into whatever the sport is. I did see there are two new sports at this year's Olympics. I think this is right. Break dancing. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. I would watch that for sure. That. Um, and then it's some kind of a kayak where they like, the kayaks are up on a ledge and then the like oh, bottom one. drops out and they like slide into the water, which is interesting. So uh, if there's an Olympic sport on, I will watch it. It doesn't even matter. Um, but I'm really, aside from like gymnastics, I'll watch the break dancing, but, um, there's none that you're like, we've got to be home tonight to watch this. No, like winter Olympics. Yes. Like I figure love skating. The, yeah. All the ice skating stuff. Yep. Um, I hockey and I like the, um, skiing and like that kind of stuff. Like all even like curling. Like I, I, it, I don't care about curling, but for the Olympics, I'll I, watch it. I care about curling a lot during the Olympics. <laughs> It's funny because like I'll be sitting on the couch eating popcorn. And I'm just like sweep harder. I'm yelling at like world class <laughs> athletes. I do better. Like my my overweight, out of shape popcorn eating <laughs> butt is like yelling at Olympians. <laughs> you can do. Give more. It's like so stupid. But the Olympics are starting, mm -hmm. and I, I like am, the opening ceremonies. I like the opening ceremonies, I like the closing ceremonies, mm -hmm. and then I like, yeah, some of the events. This is interesting, I think I showed you, or told you this, um, surfing in this year's Olympics mm -hmm. is not being held in France, um, it's being held in Tahiti, and the Olympic Village for the surfers is a cruise ship. They chartered a cruise ship so that all the surfers can like live on the cruise ship in Tahiti. Doesn't sound terrible. It sa I should have got into surfing. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang it. Well, a little bit shorter than normal vlog tonight. Um, but that's what our Thursday evening looked like. Give you guys kind of an update on what's coming up. So Friday tomorrow, I have to go to Wasilla for a morning meeting. So it's like an hour-ish drive out, hour-ish drive back. Uh, Sherry, you're working from home tomorrow? Yep. Very exciting. Um, Saturday, we don't have a ton of plans. Nothing really totally set in stone. There is a... It's like a We Are Anchorage cultural fest going on downtown in like the town square area. And the band Plain White Tees, uh, Hey There Delilah, and other hits is playing um, a free concert in downtown Anchorage, which we don't get a lot of here in Anchorage. It's so expensive for bands to come up here that normally they're always with a ticket. So the fact they're doing a free concert it's kind of cool. Um, Sherry and I like them. So we may make our way down there Saturday night for that. I think the Plain White Tees plays at like 8.30 till 10 p.m.-ish, so we'll see. Um, Sunday, we have plans with friends to go to the town of Hope, Alaska, and go have dinner at the Dirty Skillet. Neither of our friends have had dinner there, and so we're gonna make the drive down, hopefully, fingers crossed. Plans can always change, um, but that's kind of what our weekend looks like. So friends, and then next week, no. Wait, do I go to Washington, D.C. next week? The end of next week, yeah. And then I go to Washington, D.C. the end of next week. That's crazy. Saturday, I think, two weeks. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that's next week. So, I gotta get my mind around that. But friends, we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for coming along as we got new tattoos. <laughs> um, we obviously didn't vlog any in the tattoo studio. Um, but you got to see photos and some of the post tattooing uh, images of it. But anyway, we love you. We'll see you guys on the next Leg Life video.